With Weblec, you get direct access to top experts in equine medicine and surgery. So whatever we normally do with the nares uh, for, uh, for vaccinations, we give them uh, those, uh, those shots at uh, 10 months, and we always tell the client that that is not done for the mare, but it is for the foal, uh, and, uh, and that if we do those things, there is enough evidence now to show that we don't have to worry about vaccinating those uh, newborn foals probably till they're six months, sometimes even nine months the foal uh, is, is uh, involved in. Um, once, once that amnion comes out, then the mare, most of the times, in a normal, quiet, experienced mare, she will go down, lay down, and start pushing. And you'll see that, you know, that you'll see two feet coming out. Most of the times, one is ahead of the other one. And the reason for that is that the mare or the foal needs uh, to go of those, uh, those parts. Um, so... Just some examples of dystocia, and then we'll get into how to relieve those dystocias. Red bag dystocia is probably the one that will not wait for anybody to, to show up. You can see 